Hey Riverwood, you know we are uh, now deep halfway through our sermon series on the four deadly viruses, or at least four of the deadly viruses that we might catch. We've looked at fear, and last week we looked at criticism, and this coming week we're going to look at shame. We're going to keep going deeper and deeper because the last week will be pride, but um, I was reading in Acts, and you know we've been talking about criticism and having a critical spirit, and 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 there's just this great epitaph I think I ran across. At least I would like to have it uh, as my epitaph. It'd be great if that was said about me. And it's and it really has to do with Barnabas. Uh, the church at Jerusalem uh, learned about churches that were springing up. Uh, in the early days, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. And when he gets there, this is what it says in, in um, chapter 11 of, verse, uh, of Acts, chapter 11, verse 23. When he arrived and saw what the grace of God has done, had done, he was glad and encouraged them to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. Get this. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of the people were brought to the Lord. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith. And part of that was because he rejoiced in the grace of God that he saw before him. You know, so every day we have an opportunity to see the grace of God at work. We may not be aware of it unless we pay attention. And when we see the grace of God at work, we can rejoice in it. And when we do that, the end of our life will be that we are a good and faithful man or woman. That is my prayer for you. It's my prayer for me. <laughs> what a great way to end our life, to have that kind of thing said about us. Uh, may that be uh, your desire as well. And I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Let's dive into shame. <laughs> it's going to be, <laughs> that's a heart-wrenching topic for me personally. So looking forward to sharing it with you.